All right, moving on. That was a rather quick tag match, I can tell you that much. Now, you want to talk about tag, you want to talk about tagging up. Here's an individual who's won half of the tag team champion, Brent. Of course, he's won half the champions with Brandon. And tonight, he'll be, take, he'll be taking on Slayer in single match. And this is not a tag team match, obviously. I'd be interested to see how well he, work, he works in this environment. He doesn't, have a, he doesn't have his partner to fall back on tonight. And we see Slayer heading towards the ring. He too also doesn't have his regular tag partner or be a Mysterio to fall back on tonight. He's going in there by himself. <laughs> Certainly looking pretty, pretty focused. There we go, there's the bell and Slayer starting things off the hard way. Nice elevation on that DDT as you just saw. Now Slayer. Well first he appeared to be in control but it looks like that that just got halted. You see Brent taking over in the corner post. And he runs his shoulder right into the rib cage. You see him going up, take a look at this. Ah! Beautiful moonsault, just couldn't nail it. Now you see Slayer. And again he hits one of those DDTs. Now you see him off the ropes. There's press. Now you see him, saw him just with, right there with those right hands. And there was a big one right there. Running pull on. You know what? Well, he missed the drop kick and out. Brent with a Fez press right back. Brent taking over this match into a rear chin lock. Now you see him with those kicks. And he quickly swings things around. Once again, he had a rear chin lock applied. And he seems to be wearing down Slayer methodically. Now he's going for the cover here. One, two count. Two. Personally, I don't know how anyone would go for a cover after a rear chin lock. As you just saw, a German Stuplex dumped him right on his friggin' head. By a leg drop, and he's going up. Well, he hit with a moonsault that time. One, and no, two. two count only. So he's resorting back to his lethal feet. Now he shoots Slayer into the turnbuckle. Ah! Hold it upside down like a tree to wall, and then ah! Shoulder right, right into the solar plexus. What you're seeing here is an example of his athletic ability. Oh! Front suplex, reverse suplex, gore buster. Something like that by any other name still stings just as much. There's, no, there's a nice back kick and I think he's ready to end it. He counters that one and take a look. Slayer hits the power bomb. He hits the power bomb. And now. What's he. Oh, guillotine leg drop from the top rope. 
If that doesn't end it right here, I don't know what's going to do. He just counted two and oh! Kick out at two! Damn! Gotta admire the iron of fortitude here from Brett. Third DDT of the match right there. What's he doing? Just went outside the ring. Now he's back in. Now he's going up again. I think he's thinking about another leg drop. And he hits it! He hits it! Oh man, he's gotta have cracked his face or something. He's got Oh! Two count! How the hell does he keep kicking out of those? Says press. How in the world did he kick out of two guillotine leg drops? As he saw him just kicking away Brett now. Abdominal stretch applied. See him locking up and Northern Light Suplex. Very well executed. He's One, done on him there. Nah, two count only. It's a kick. Oh, he's getting ready to close this one. And there. Ah! Ah! What impact and elevation on that frog splash! Oh man, stick a fork in him. Yeah, he is done! By way of a frog splash, what happened to Tag Team Champion? Brent picks up the win over Slayer. They're here on BYU. Nicely done.